Hello, sir. How may I help you today? I need a part for my car that I didn't buy here and have never been here before. Okay, what part are we looking for today? I have a 1978 Dodge panel van and inside the inner fender I think there is a plastic panel thing inside that panel thing I think there is a metal screw. I think on that screw is a retainer on that retainer I think is a washer. I think on that washer is a o-ring I need that o-ring now. I think it will fix my car from not starting. I've checked every parts house in town and now I'm forced to come here to get raped by your high prices, you guys are worse than Adolf Hitler, Osama Bin Laden, and the devil. I check my computer and I can get the o-ring for you for $25. It is special order so you will have to prepay for it before I order it for you, sir. $25. I work night shift at Kentucky Fried Chicken I need my car fixed now this is bullshit. Advance Auto can have me one for three dollars, but I've already ordered five of them from there, and they are all wrong. The motor is a 84 and the frame is from an 89, but the body is a 78. Go ahead and get one coming, and if it's wrong, or I install it, and it does not fix my problem I'll come back and get my money back from you. I will probably come back five minutes before you close on Friday too. Sir, this part is special order and is not returnable by the manufacturer. We do not stock it because, in case you haven't noticed, you have the only 1978 Dodge panel van within 5,000 miles. If we take back your obscure part, we'll be hung with it and we will have our money tied up in it instead of buying parts that we can in turn make a profit on. Listen sir. You are an adult so you need to make adult decisions about what you need. You took it upon yourself to not get the vehicle fixed by our service department and you are going all by yourself and you need to tell me exactly what you need because I promise I will get you the exact part you ask me for and it will be correct based on the information you give me. Should you not give me the correct information because you are not a mechanic or parts person and have no idea what you are talking about then you are an adult and make adult decisions and you will live with your adult consequences. I am not a babysitter or I am not a fucking mind reader sir. You tell me what you need and I'll order it. There are no returns. There are no exchanges. You can never ever return the part for any reason. Now put on your big girl panties and tell me what you need or shut the fuck up and get out of here so I can get the 7 phone calls I have on hold that are people that actually know what the fuck they are talking about and are wanting to spend good money on profitable parts but I can't get to because your dumb ass dragged your knuckles up to the front counter and you won't quit mouth breathing or accept no as an answer as I see. We'll have to do this the hard way because you obviously need your hand to be held in all aspects of life. How have you made it this far in life without getting killed? Now, what's your credit card number?